Hello Libra, my name is Priscilla from Crystal Things Heal, here to do your mid-month reading. This is for love readings. We're going to find out what's going on between mid-April to mid-May. Friendly reminder that tarot is for guidance and entertainment purposes only. Therefore, not responsible for what you do after reading. However, I'm here for you. If you're interested in a personal reading, check out crystalthingsheal.com where you can book directly on the site. Also, you can check out all the new fun stuff that we have going on, like group breaky sessions that you can tune in on zoom so you can hop in whenever um <laughs> we have one happening this month april 25th we're gonna do one every month the last sunday of every month so you know tune in you will be getting distance healing if you do tune in and i made it super affordable too so we are pulling some cards out um, and then we are going to do a heart spread. Wow, you guys are getting some amazing cards. Then we're going to do a heart spread. One side is going to be the masculine side. One side is going to be the feminine side. This is beautiful already. And then we're going to find out the good stuff, right? Outcomes, actions being taken, how you feel about each other, all that good stuff. So guys, <laughs> the first card you guys got A wedding you want to know what else you got with that <laughs> romantic feelings so whether you know it or not guess what a lot of you are probably in a newer relationship meaning a person that you're probably gonna end up marrying um I do feel some hesitation, like you're not sure, or you're going back and forth or something like that. Uh, you kind of know, but you're not really listening to yourself that much. Anyways, it is safe for you to love, but this person is not your usual type of person. They're not meant to be. If you're going to, you know, you're supposed to find whoever's different, pretty much. If they're the same as all your other exes, you know, it didn't work last time, so why would it work? You know, they got to be different. Anyways, my point is, I'm going to read this one to you. It says, your soulmate may differ from your usual type and expectations. But guess what else came out? They're worth waiting for. So there's a, a period here of waiting for each other. I don't think it's waiting. I think you guys are already dating or whatever. I think that you guys are like taking your time maybe. Because you're getting to know each other. Okay, and this one says, as you reveal your innermost selves to each other, your bond deepens. So you guys are calling in your soulmate. It literally says you're calling in your soulmate. Wow, that's whew, intense, I tell you. Intense. Let's go into your other Oracle cards. <laughs> I decided to do all Oracle, but we're going to do the shape of a heart. We're going to find out what's at the heart of the matter for these people, please, for my lovely Libras. What is at the heart of the matter? I'm not going to lie. I'm a little tired, so I'm wearing down, but I wanted to get your readings done. And I'm glad because you guys are off to a great start. What's at the heart of the matter, please, for Libras? Thank you. Healthy choices. You, like I said, you guys are taking your time. You're getting to know each other. This is creating healthy choices here, okay? Um, making healthy choices in love and in life. There's Because there's self-love happening here. There's self-care. So you're likely like working out and stuff like that again too, or at least wanting to be healthier. <laughs> um, bottom line, you're happier. And that's why you're able to make these choices. And this is both of you. This is not just one person, okay? Um, so how does the feminine see the masculine? Oh, wow. Abundance. They have a positive mindset. They're manifesting exactly what they want. They're grateful. And they feel like they're in bliss right now. They also feel like that with that person, with the masculine, they're able to be prosperous too. Like um, the union can make things happen. That you guys can build. 
How does the masculine see the feminine? Ascending. Oh, shit. This is cool. He's not... He's... um The masculine... Well, first, let me get to this. So, ascending, right? So, this is transcending obstacles. So, the feminine likely went through some shit before they met. And they probably know about it. They talked about it, whatever. So, they know that they're, like, healing, whatever. Um, they're learning... They're going to new phases in life. They're watching them grow, watching them expand. Also, they are preparing for union. Keyword, preparing for union. So you're not quite together yet, but it's very, very soon about to happen. Um, so anyways, the masculine energy, they're very observant. They're watching how this feminine works, okay? How she thinks, how she talks, how she reacts to things. The good, the bad, they're going to sit back and watch. They want to know every little thing of how she ticks. He's studying her. Alrighty, so what does the feminine want? Thank you. They want to savor the moment, feel uplifted. They also want a partnership where there's a friendship. I can relate to that. What does the masculine want? <laughs> Engagement ring. Heart with a key. Holy shit. <laughs> I actually was left speechless right now. I tried to speak and I couldn't. That might be a thing. That might be relevant. Like, the guy can't really speak about how he feels like that. He's not an emotional person. So, like, he might come off as a little cold. He might really like this person, but he doesn't say it. It's, it is hard for him to say it. But what does he want? Engagement. He wants partnership. This is not someone who is going to date to fuck around. Okay. This is someone who's going to date to marry. They're not playing games. This isn't a little boy. They want commitment, completion, union, welcoming love, meeting the one, opening your heart, getting together. And they're a little... They're a little OCD, maybe, because they want perfection. So they might have to work through that because, you know, no one's perfect. But I think I'm kind of getting a little bit of OCD um, behavior, characteristic, something, whatever you want to call it. Hold on. I'm picking up on something. Mm -hmm. I knew it. Soulmates. Oops, sorry. <laughs> Didn't realize I was that close to the camera. Soulmate. I think deep down, this guy, If I don't know if he knows it yet, but this feminine energy is definitely their soulmate. But I think deep down, like he kind of knows. He's just not ready to admit it yet. Soul connection, partnership, agreement, soul contract. This was already written. Like, you guys are always meant to be together. Akashic record type of thing. You know what I mean? You guys probably knew each other for a little bit. And, like, kind of were around each other. And it was because your energies were meant to meet. One way or another, you just were. It was already written. What actions is the feminine going to take? Mm. Mm. So the feminine. Oh, stop it. They're going to unconditionally love giving and receiving affection. 
They're gonna fall in love. Damn. That says unconditional love. That's different. You know what I mean? That's not any type of love. That's the love you want to hold on to. They're probably like a big kisser. Like if you let them, they'll probably be really affectionate. Because I'm getting like that sweet vibe. So this person, the feminine energy, they feel like the masculine is like maybe a male version of themselves. Vice versa. I think the masculine might feel that way too about the feminine. In a lot of ways. Like they mirror each other. They probably like a lot of the same things. They think they want the same things. They think alike. What actions is the mask going to take? Is that what I just asked? They're going to be very communicative. Ooh. Relationship evolving. This is so cute. Okay. <laughs> so... They're interested. I can't tell you more. They're interested. They're going to keep talking. You're going to notice that communication is going to like accelerate. Um, they're just going to keep talking because they're interested. You know what I mean? They're not going to leave you waiting. A waited message arrives. Text, call. They might, you might notice, the feminine energy might notice that as they become more attached or they might like you more, whatever it may be. They might like hover a little bit. Not in a bad way though. They might ask little questions. Like let's say you send a message. You're like, well, who are you talking to? You know, who's that? Who are you talking to? What did you do today? Did you get home okay? You know, not just what did you do today, but like, you know, hovering a little bit. But it's cute. It's a cute way. It's not a, not toxic in any way, shape, or form at all. So anyways, <clears throat> I asked what action's going to be taken, right? And we got the relationships evolving to the next phase with growth. Growth, transformation. They're also healing some stuff about themselves that like is like deep within themselves. They're working on healing that. Can we get an outcome for these lovely people? Love! <gasps> Stop it! No! Oh my god. Karmic relationship too. But, aww. So, both of these people, their past relationships are pretty shitty. <laughs> Bottom line, right? So, there was like a lot of resentment and turmoil and yada yada from the past relationships. They had lessons to learn, okay? They were meant to meet after going through all this stuff. Um, also, because they are letting go so they can love each other. Unconditional love, again! Uncon oh, stop it. But this is also like self-love and you guys are like one. This is oneness, okay? Oh, this is so nice. There's affection, there's attraction. You just, you get it all. That's so good. Oh, I'm happy for you. Cupid's arrow, because you were shot by Cupid's arrow. <laughs> oh my God. That was... Oh, okay. All right. That's your reading. I'm happy for you. That just, that hit the heart, man. <laughs> All right. Until next time. Bye.